Welcome to Daily Records, and today's uh, record spotlight is one of my oldest LPs in my collection. Uh, something I bought many, many years ago uh, for a couple of bucks. It is Todd Rundgren's Something Anything. There's Todd right there. Also features a beautiful gatefold of Todd uh, recording the album because this is kind of like McCartney's first album and Stevie Wonder's um, 70s stuff. Todd pretty much uh, plays and writes everything on the album. Now, this was released in February of 1972, recorded in late 71. Uh, Todd had kind of risen to prominence uh, with the band The Naz and then later uh, started his own uh, recording career uh, as Runt and did a couple of albums. This is his third album and uh, probably his best known and a lot of people consider it to be Todd's greatest work on the Bearsville label. This album uh, is a double, double record, like I said, on Bearsville and it features uh, some of his best known songs, um, Hello It's Me, his version of that song that was re-recorded uh, from the from the uh, Naz version, which was a little bit slower. It also, I Saw the Light, and one of my very favorite power pop songs of all time, Couldn't I Just Tell You, uh, which is just a, just a rocking song. Here's the insert for the album. I know you can't see all of it. Uh, one side, different uh, sessions. And then this side uh, features the lyrics to everything. And so I'll fold that back up. It's, uh, it featured, like I said, the singles I Saw the Light, Couldn't I Just Tell You, Hello, It's Me. Uh, I think Wolfman Jack was also a single from the album. But basically the first three sides of the album was uh, Todd by himself, playing all the instruments, doing all the work himself, and uh, basically being a one-man uh, one band. Now, from what I understand, he, he wrote and recorded the album at a really fast pace, and he kind of later attributed it to his use of Ritalin and, and cannabis. Uh, just He said it caused him to uh, put out a lot of stuff at one time. Now, side four of the album on the second disc, uh, basically he brought in a band to, to fill out those tracks. And so you can hear a lot of the uh, studio banter on there, Todd producing. But this album sort of became Todd's uh, calling card. It, it was sort of the thing that, that gave him uh, probably the cult following that he enjoys to this day. Uh, Todd certainly has uh, diehard fans out there in the world. Uh, and this album really is sort of the cornerstone for all that. The first two albums have, you know, some nice ballads, a couple of nice rockers. Um, and then the albums after this... And Todd gets really spotty. I mean, Todd's one of those artists that he goes all over the place stylistically. Uh, he never really just stuck with one single formula. Uh, but he's an enormously talented producer, a great songwriter, excellent singer, and a phenomenal guitarist. So he's just a, he's just a threat in every way. But Todd's interests, they go all over the map. And so that shows as his solo career progressed. Uh, and it can be very frustrating, but it can also be very rewarding. But if you only own one single Todd Rundgren album uh, ever, this is the one to have something, anything. So like, comment, subscribe down below. Share the video if you're so inclined. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter. It's TommyBurton75, and thanks for watching.